Now the next thing we're going to do is add our ductwork, and the first thing we're going to do is put in the registers, so that's where the air is going to come into the room, um, and our symbol for the register looks just like this, a little rectangle with an X going through it. So if I take my symbol, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put one right around this wall in the laundry room. And then I'm going to copy and rotate it. So if I select it, R, O, Enter, click and drag up. And then we're going to put one along this wall here. We're going to put two here in the family room in this same direction. Then we're going to put one in the dining room along this window. Then we'll take the one that's rotated in this direction. We're going to put one in the foyer. And two in the living room. And then we're going to put some along all the rooms on this side here. So one in the bedroom, bathroom, or bedroom, sorry, and then the bathroom in here. The other bathroom and the other bedroom. Then we're going to take our forced air cooling system, which is this symbol here, and we're going to move it onto our plan right around that area. Now remember, we're kind of designing this plan, so you don't have to place everything exactly where I do, but just try to make it look um, somewhat similar to the drawing that I'm creating. So if we look at our handout, we can see we have um, large duck running along here. So the blue is going to be our um, supply air, and then the pink is our return air. Okay? So we can see right here we have a 20 by 8 size duck. And then we have 14 by 8 and 12 by 8. It gets smaller as it gets further away from the heating system. So the 20 inches is the width. So from here to here. And then the 8 inches, you can't see, that's the depth of it. Because we're looking at the plan. So it's a top view looking down. So you're not actually seeing the 8-inch um, thickness. We're just seeing the 20 inches here. So... If I go back into my plan, I know that I want to draw a line that runs along um, where the heating system is, the forced air cooling and heating system, and we want to make it um, 20 inches deep. So I'm going to switch to a different layer. We're going to select um, the HVAC solid line, and I'm going to draw a line straight across, kind of close to where it lines up with this wall here. And then I'm going to offset that down, so O enter by 20 inches. 20 inches enter, click, click below, and then it should line up with our um, supply duct here. And we're going to come in this direction 
kind of get close to where the sink is here, click, and then do the same thing, offset down by 20 inches and hit enter. Then I'm going to draw another duct that comes kind of down the center of my hallway here. So if I kind of come to the edge here, I'm going to go straight down until I get to a little bit before that wall. And then I'm also going to offset that by 20 inches to the right. Now I'm going to trim out that area right there. And then I'm going to draw another line here that comes straight up into the bedroom. And then the thickness of this duct is only going to be 12 inches. So we're going to offset it by 12. And then if I type F enter, I can join those two lines at the corner. Um, and then we'll make it curved after we finish putting in everything else. So now I'm going to draw another line that closes off this duct. And then we're going to have a six inch one that's going to run to the register right here. And that's where the air comes out of. So we're going to draw a line that connects and we're going to offset this down by six. Just make sure it looks centered along the register here. And then we're going to put our damper in here which is this symbol right here. So we can copy that up. We're going to put it up here right along our six inch diameter duct. And now we're going to use um, the fillet command to give us our curve here on this duct. So what we're going to do, the radius here is going to be 6 inches and 3 inches on this one. So if I type F enter and then R enter for radius, put in 6 enter, click the two lines. Then once again we'll do F enter, R enter, 3 enter, and click those two lines. Um, and then we can take our, you can draw it again or you can just copy this six inch um, branch that goes off to our register. We're going to copy it down so we have one along there. And then we want to have one of these um, six inch ducts with the damper on it that runs to all the registers along this line here. So I'm going to kind of place it on the center in these three rooms. And then I just want to make sure that it extends back to my main duct right here. So if I type EX enter, right click, I can extend those lines to where they meet. just like that. And then we can do the same thing with this, these one, two, three, four registers. Um, down in this area we're going to have the duct get smaller and taper down so we're going to skip that area for now. But um, we can draw our lines from this one to where it hits the main duct line. We can offset it down by six. And then we just want to make sure it's centered, and then we can add in our damper. And then we can copy this down to this register. And then over here as well.
And then we can put our damper in along there as well. And then we have one more small one here. So offset it by six. Make sure it's centered. And then copy our damper up. And now we're going to branch this duct off and it's going to be um, 14 inches in width when it gets into the laundry room. So we're going to draw a line from here, straight up. And then we're going to offset it to the right by 14. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one. We'll trim out that corner and then we are going to draw our six inch duct to that goes to the register so we're going to offset this by six inches make sure it's looks centered and then we can add in our damper 